a quick rundown, quick down and dirty rundown on this Titan T3 squat rack. I give it a 8 out of 10. Finished putting together the T3 Titan squat stand. Anything more than this is just overkill. This is the perfect squat stand. I don't have the ceiling height for a squat rack, so I went with the short 72 inch uprights, which is nice. I mean, I would love to do pull ups right here, but I guess I could um, move this up and uh, do pull ups off the bar. But this thing is incredible. The powder coat looks absolutely beautiful. Uh, the package came a little bit damaged, but um, it's 11 gauge steel. So the, the uprights and all the everything was fine. Everything was accounted for. It came in one package. I got an email today from FedEx saying it was going to be delayed, but it wasn't. It surprised me at my door. And I put it together in honestly like probably 30 to 40 minutes. Super easy to put together, bolt together. Um, there's no um, there's no welds on this, just bolts, which is nice because I could crank it down with tools that I did have. Old rusty ones worked and did fine. Um, but this thing seems super sturdy, um, especially for the amount of weight I'm going to be lifting. This is perfect. I was doing a ton of research, looking at a bunch of different reviews, and people were just raving about the three by three, but in all honesty, this has a nice aesthetic to it. It's not overbearing and too big for my small garage gym space. Um, the footprint on it, this is a little chipped right here actually, and this is probably, honestly, where I put my squat. Actually, I'll probably go up a little bit. Yeah, the holes, they're punched, but there is a couple damaged ones. I would say maybe just a few of them are, are a little bit damaged, but again, no big deal. This thing's supposed to get beat up, right? Um, the footprint on this thing, I don't have the biggest space in the world, so uh, it takes up about 48 inches depth-wise, width-wise, about the same, and like I said, 72 inches on the height. This thing is incredible, seems very, very sturdy, cheap, free shipping, weighs 145, uh, 44 pounds total, so a thousand pound weight capacity, and like I just said, there is no way that I am ever going to get a thousand pounds on this thing. Actually, I think I only have about 205 pounds of total weight right now, um, but as I progress and increase my squat and bench and stuff like that I'll add more weight but again uh, I'm never gonna come close to that a uh, thousand pounds so this is more than enough for me the next investment will probably be just some spotter safety arms for a little bit more safety when I am benching and maybe some rack pulls or something like that but I'm excited that this has arrived it's a lot safer when I'm doing my bench and stuff like that I won't have to throw the bar onto my back to do squats. So this thing is incredible. First impressions, I absolutely love it. The powder coat, beautiful piece of equipment right here. Yeah, I'm pumped to get started and start uh, start working out on this thing. So yeah, I'm gonna put in my first workout, but I just wanted to say that this is a very cheap, affordable, economical option that you should definitely look into if you're looking at getting something um, to squat and bench on. Uh, this obviously isn't a full rack, but at the same time, I kind of like the freedom of not being enclosed in a rack. As for attachments, I'm obviously not gonna be able to add as many attachments with this as I would be able to with the rack, but I'm fine, I can make do with this and I think like I said it's a great option highly underrated the 2 by 3 11 gauge steel is probably the way to go for most humans but yeah this is a quick rundown quick down and dirty rundown on this Titan T3 squat rack I give it a 8 out of 10 yeah 
you guys have a good day and we'll see you next time